Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at CMU performance and seeing if we can actually run games with large shader caches like Breath of the Wild and Mario Kart 8 using only 8GB of RAM. Before we jump across to the performance benchmarks, there are a few things that I must tell you. Number one is that this RAM usage issue is basically only a problem for NVIDIA users. Any NVIDIA GPU users basically use 3 to 4 times the amount of RAM of our AMD or Intel iGPU counterparts. However, even though we do use more RAM, performance using CMU and Breath of the Wild especially is much much better in comparison to AMD or Intel. This is mostly due to driver side optimization by NVIDIA for the OpenGL API. Ok, so let's talk about what I used for this benchmark. For both my 8 and 16 GB scenarios, I had a page file of 8000 MB in place. This page file was on my M.2 SSD, you can see my read and write speed using Crystal Dismark on screen right now. Now this drive is actually quite a lot faster than a regular SSD, the speeds you are seeing on screen right now are my secondary SSD and will be much more typical of actual SSD performance. Now in this test I wanted to see what the best case scenario for using virtual memory or a page file was, this is the reason that I used this fast M.2 drive to store my page file. Don't worry, in this video we are going to do a comparative test between using a page file on this faster drive in comparison to using it on the slower one. Now while the results you are about to see may shock you, please be aware that the performance you are seeing is not completely indicative of the actual playable situation. Ok, let's run these benchmarks and you can now take a look at exactly what the performance differentials are between 16 and 8GB of RAM. The performance overlays you are seeing on screen are quite self explanatory. However, for my RAM overlay, you are seeing my committed memory, not just RAM utilization of CMU itself. Monitoring our RAM usage in this way gives us a better overall picture of exactly how much RAM our actual system is using. Now, in most of these scenarios, you are going to see that the 16GB use case is going to have better performance 90% of the time. Regardless of this, I was still quite happy with the performance, especially in this best use case scenario. Let's quickly swap over to our next scene, Kakariko Village. I must also mention that I was using GX2 Drawdown, the feature of CMU Emulator which gives us more accurate emulation. The graphics packs in use in this video are fairly simple ones. I was using a resolution graphics pack of 1080p, the other graphics packs active in these tests are FPS++ and the LWZX Crash Workaround graphics pack in combination with the CMU experimental option Enable Breath of the Wild Crash Workaround. Now, as you have seen in these benchmarks so far, the performance is actually quite close. However, this does not paint the full picture. While I was doing the majority of my benchmark tests, I didn't crash a single time when using 16GB, whereas when I was doing my 8GB test runs, I crashed on numerous occasions while traversing the world. This just goes to show you that you cannot use pure raw performance numbers to show you exactly how a game is running when using different kinds of RAM. In the next segment of this benchmark, we are going to take a look at the performance differentials between using two different kinds of storage. We are going to be testing the performance of my M.2 SSD in comparison to another drive in my system, a Samsung 840 EVO. As with all of the tests you have just previously seen, a page file of 8000 megabytes is going to be present on both of these drives for all of these tests. Let's jump across to our Hateno scene and see what performance is like over there. As you can clearly see, the performance when the page file is on my Samsung 840 EVO is not even comparable to the performance when it is on my M.2 SSD. When we bring up the performance attributes of both of these drives, it is quite easy to see why there is such a difference in performance. So there we go guys, a fairly comprehensive guide on exactly what kind of performance you can expect when using 8GB of RAM in combination with an Nvidia GPU. If you need any help in optimizing your games, especially games with large shader caches like Breath of the Wild or Mario Kart 8, you can consult my low end performance guide which I have made for CMU 1.11.3, 1.11.4 and will still work in all CMU versions into the future. In this guide I show you exactly how you can set up a page file as I have done in this video. Not only that, but I also show you a host of other optimization steps that you can take in order to boost performance in all of your games when using them on CMU. 
So once again, at the end of this video, I want to give a massive thank you and shout out to all of the new patrons over on the BSOD Patreon. I really cannot express just how thankful I am to all of you who are willing to help support me and my channel. If you wish to get your name featured on this list, as well as a host of other benefits over on the BSOD Gaming Discord, you can find a link to either of these down in the video description. So as always guys, cheers for checking out the video, I hope you found it in some way interesting. Remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.